Hello again everyone, back in my day gaming here and today I come to you a little salty and annoyed because essentially you're looking at the second version of my guide on how to get the raw feather kite because Blizzard decided to take the nerf back to this toy they thought it was too fun and too effective to get around Legion so essentially I had to re-record it to make sure it's all up to date this toy which allows one minute of gliding anywhere in the Broken Isles. Now it's a 15 minute cooldown instead of a two minute cooldown, but it still provides utility and it is a toy, so I'm gonna put this guide out. Now the creation of this toy requires four items that are found in High Mountain. So we're gonna start in Skyhorn and just get them all in one run here. As we approach the cave, we're gonna make sure we head right and go up the mountain instead of down into the cave. As we head up the mountain trail, we're going to hang a bit to the left and we're going to head over and pick up the first treasure. This will provide us with the Shimmering Rock Feather, our first item. And from there, we're going to head to the southwest, just glide down and go kill Crosshuck the Hungry to get our second item. Looting him rewards us with a Gleaming Rock Feather. And so now we need to go down again and head over to this point. When we get there, looting the treasure will yield us the delicate rock feather, and after killing the runt, we'll head back to Skyhorn and up the trail to get the last item. So we're going to follow the trail out of Skyhorn, cross a couple bridges till we see the totem. That totem, and we'll go up behind it and follow the trail up the mountain. As we follow the trail and stick to our right, you'll see the last treasure sitting out on a limb. As you approach it, get your nice role play walk on, make sure you don't fall off, and head out there and get the last item. After obtaining the derelict Skyhorn kite, go in your bags, combine all the items, and you'll be rewarded with the toy. So as I said earlier, Blizzard went for the Grand Slam on this and nerfed back the crap out of it. And now it's a 15 minute cooldown, but occasionally it still may have utility. And until they actually nerf back the crap out of it again, the toy, the Emerald Winds, will actually stack with this and allow you to glide even farther and faster. So while you still can, go ahead and utilize that to travel around the Broken Isles. I hope you found this quick guide useful. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe.